Hello everybody and welcome to Fridays at 5.17 today. Um, I'm, my name is Phoebe and those of you who've joined before will know that I am the Methodist Youth President. If you've not been here before, then welcome. You are very welcome in this space. Um, Fridays at 5.17 is a time for children and young people across the Methodist Connection to gather together, to pray and to tune into God. And what's really important about this moment, this time together, is it's an opportunity for children and young people to listen to what God might be saying to them. So um, please uh, make yourselves comfortable. Um, please feel free to um, watch this again after this week um, and to keep coming back. Um, but um, Fridays 517 runs the same every week that there'll be a short reflection and um, some time for you to sit and be in the presence of God to listen to what God might be saying and then we finish with some words of prayer at the end. So as I said do make yourselves comfortable and start to rest in God's presence. So this week Fridays at 517 is coming to you at the end of April um, and maybe it is just me, but April seems to have gone very quickly this year. Um, I don't know where the time has gone. Um, they do say time flies when you're having fun, so maybe that is it. And in lots of ways, um, I am kind of glad that we are heading towards the summer. Um, I really like summer with the longer days and the warmer weather and hopefully more things to do or being well and safe. Um, but yes, I love the fact that we are getting close to summer and this um, time of winter will be over. But I also love this, I also love spring and the month of April has brought me so much joy with beautiful spring flowers and the planet shaking off its winter coat. Um, I don't know whether near you you've got lots of flowers, but near me there's been daffodils and crocuses and bluebells and blossom, um, lots of wonderful things. Um, and April was the first time I saw a bumblebee. And for me, that is a sign that summer and warmer weather is on its way. And as you can see in the picture at the bottom, blossom is um, uh, all around and blossom is my favourite flower of all. Um, and I love blossom because there's just something so beautiful about um, the pink and the white flowers and trees full of these flowers, um, promising the fruit that is yet to come. And I just love that you can walk down the street and see blossom and it's, it's just so beautiful and it, it I, I love it. Um, but I also love it when um, you walk past Blossom and it's slightly windy and the Blossom comes down like confetti um, and it's almost just like a magical sort of feel to everything um, and I really love that. And on Easter Sunday, which if you can believe was nearly a month ago, I loved seeing the Blossom trees everywhere and it filled me with so much hope. So um, April, in terms of the beautiful flowers and the weather, has been lovely. But also, as you can see in the other picture with the person stepping into puddles, April is well known for its showers. Um, and when you go out, there is a very good chance of a short burst of rain. Um, and I always have to take an umbrella with me just in case, although I, I definitely have been caught without one before. And um, I love that you have this time of gloom and it could be like just five minutes of rain and then the sun will just come out and um, it's almost like a comforting smile. Um, and I just really love that, that you can have all this sort of different weather in one day. Um, and I love that in April that the rain just gives some relief um, and helps the flowers like the blossom to grow. Um, so I think that that's really special. And I just love that April is this time of transition and so much seems to change over the course of just a month. I think I was looking at that um, at the beginning of April, sunrise was about half past six and sunset was about half past seven. And now it's half past five for sunrise and half past eight for sunset, which gives us an extra two hours of um, light to um, enjoy. And I just love that over this sort of time, there's so much transition. And I also got uh, myself thinking about what might have changed for me over the course of April um, and what has happened over this month. I think there's something really special about coming to the end of a month where we can sit and reflect. I was thinking about where God might have been at work in my life. Um, have there been times of gloom this month? And if I have, have I found sunshine and warmth? 
Have I looked to God for that sunshine and warmth, for that hope and comfort and strength? Um, and what might God be saying to me about next month as we head into May? What goals and aspirations have I got for May? Um, and where is God in all of these goals and aspirations? Um, and I think that the most important thing for me is that I invite God into my life to help me um, think about these things and to reflect and to look forward to May. Um, so if I go to the next slide, um, you can see I have... Um, a May calendar and um, over the next couple of minutes I just encourage you to stop and reflect and pray and tune into God um, to see what God might be saying about where you should be heading for May, about perhaps what you might have learned over April um, and just invite God to um, just speak to you um, and uh, have this moment of quiet to listen to what God might be saying. So let's have some quiet now as we reflect. I invite you to continue to reflect um, and to think about these things um, after Fridays at 517 has finished. But for now, um, I invite you to share with these words that um, will be on your screen. Um, and this is a time for us to thank God for just being a God that listens and a God who cares. So let us pray. Loving God, thank you for listening to our prayers. Thank you that we can listen to you. Help us this week to listen and to respond to you. Amen. Um, as I said, Fridays at 5.17 will be here every week. Um, and sometimes it'll be me presenting and it might be other people some other weeks. But again, it's always a time for you to come to be um, with other children and young people praying across the connection. Also, don't feel like your Fridays at 5.17 um, time needs to finish here. You can watch it afterwards. You can tune in at other points and you can also head to all of these places to find some more information about Fridays at 517 and 3 Generate 365. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope that you'll be able to continue to reflect and maybe listen to what God might be saying and respond to what God has said. Do let us know what God might be saying to you. You can contact me um, through email or through any of the accounts here on the screen. And once again, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next week.